Hi everyone and welcome back to Skincare Shelfie where I ask our Adore Beauty staff what's on their skincare shelf. Today we are joined by Kate Morris who is the co-founder of Adore Beauty. Now Kate, you get to try so many skincare products, is that right? Oh look, my skin is an experimental playground. <laughs> I started Adore 23 years ago mm -hmm. so my skin has changed a lot yeah. since then. You yeah. know, I, was, I was 21 and now I'm not so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My skin type, it's normal to dry, mm -hmm. tends to get dehydrated, particularly as I get older, I'm a bit more prone to mm -hmm. sort of sensitivity. Let's get into your AM routine. Big fan of the Viviology Foaming Cleanser. It's just easy. It's just yeah. easy and it smells nice and I got to be involved in making it. So it's like, well, I'm kind well, that's of a no brainer. To it. I'm kind of attached to it. Look, I do, I do change my routine around a little bit depending mm -hmm. on what's happening. I find when I travel, it's more sensitive, but here's a, sort of like a basic morning. I would probably do uh, the Viviology vitamin C mixed with a pump of the niacinamide and HA. Like you mix it together before you put it on your face? Yeah, I just kind of oh, put like a that. squirt of each in my palm and just chuck it on over okay sometimes i will also like maybe instead of the niacinamide i'll do the vitamin c and put on the tanlux super glow i love which this is product you know, i love it as a as a melbourne essential <laughs> when you know where you want to pretend that you're somewhere warm yeah. <laughs> in winter i now, do gloomy like weather. my skin with a little bit of a glow yeah it's hydrating as well so you pop that on in the morning yeah. Do you pop makeup over it? Yeah. Or sunscreen over it? Yeah. Yeah. Give it a couple of minutes before mm -hmm. you pop your sunscreen over mm -hmm. the top. Otherwise yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's mixing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunscreen is an absolute non-negotiable mm -hmm. for me. Um, so typically, I would use the AB Lab Dewy C. It's got quite a dewy finish for me. If I've got my serums underneath, it's enough moisture that I don't need to use a moisturizer as well. Yeah. So that's AM. Okay. Pretty much. PM I find is the, the routine that I'll change a little bit more depending on what my skin's going mm -hmm. on. If I'm feeling like it's a little bit sensitized, yeah. I will use the Osmosis Rescue Serum, yeah. which smells like pool water. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard the smell is shocking. It's not a good smell. I've always wanted to smell it. Like it's not a horrible smell. But this one's it's meant just... to be amazing for rosacea. Yeah, for rosacea, for sensitivity, for any kind of flare-ups, yeah. um, I find it really, really good and just kind of calming on my mm -hmm. skin. So I'll often travel with this one. So that's if I'm feeling kind of sensitized. Mm -hmm. If not, I would use a retinol. At the moment, mm -hmm. I'm... I had a bottle of the Murad Resurgence. I find on my skin, I've, I've never managed to find a retinol that I can use every single night. Yeah. It doesn't agree with me. Which is not uncommon. I'd sure. say a lot of people, yeah. The super high strength, like, you know, the 0.5s or the 1% retinol, mm. I just, I can't do it. Yeah. My skin says no. I've always wanted to, but. Yeah. <laughs> and then moisturizer over the top. Yep. So I really do like something rich and really hydrating mm -hmm. in winter, especially. My skin just like. <laughs> Yep. Soaks it up. So I really like the Aspect Probiotic Mask as a sleep mask. mask. Yep. So you don't have to put it on kind of like mask thickness because yep. otherwise like you sort of stick to the pillow yeah. and you sort of wake up and it's like because it's just a really nice rich yep. and hydrating moisturiser and then my skin wakes up all kind of bouncy. Yep. Um, it's the best, if, that product. So that's really nice. Do not mind a bit of bougie. Okay. Um, the oh. Lancôme Absolute Rich Cream is mm -hmm. really, that's, that's if you want it. That's if you want it. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Thick. Oh, it's pink. Thick, thick. Yeah, pink. Nice. Because why not? Yep. I do like that one That's too. just for your bougie nights. Mm -hmm. That's PM mostly. I just realised I've forgotten one product that I do sometimes sub in kind of instead of the retinol. Yeah. Which is the SkinCeuticals Retexturing Activator. What is it? Basically, it's kind of like an exfoliator and skin refiner, but it doesn't have um, the ingredients that are typically irritating. Yeah, okay. So it's not, you know, it's not glycolic based. It doesn't, you know, sort of tingle yeah. when you put it on. So it, I find when I use this one, sometimes I feel like it's not doing anything. And then three days later, your skin looks like glass. Oh, amazing. So I thought you were going to be like, it doesn't do anything. No, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today on Skincare Shelfie. We have a lot of the same products, especially this one. Oh, my absolute fave. Look, if it's you haven't best. tried that one, if you have dry skin, living? yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's the best. It really is, especially in winter. Mm -hmm. But thank you for sharing your AM and PM routine. Uh, it was lovely to sit down with you and chat about skin today. My pleasure, Jordy. Thanks mm -hmm. for having me. You're welcome.